Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock your GPU. Please, before the video starts, I'm going to kindly ask you to drop a like if you can. That's because with the new algorithms YouTube is using, it's really going to help me a lot. Thank you. Now, the GPU I own is a GTX 1070 Gaming X 8GB from MSI. But Today I'm going to use EVGA's tool Precision X and the link for the download is in the video description. First thing to do is open EVGA Precision X, make sure everything is in stock. So press the default button and apply everything. At this point you know everything is stock and you're not doing anything that's gonna influence your baseline testing. Now. Okay, very important thing, you've got to go in your NVIDIA control panel, so sorry for the Italian, prefer maximum perform. For our baseline testing, we are going to use Heaven Benchmark, the link again is in the video description. I'm going to use the DirectX 11 option, everything is ultra in 1440p. I'm not going to run a full screen because OBS is not going to be able to record. I am going to run it. And as we can see, the GPU clock is at 1974. Now that we know that, I am gonna I'm gonna shut it down, and I will start tweaking with EVGA Precision X. What I usually do is move the priority to the temper temperature target, and raise the power target way way higher to 126 which is the maximum for my card then I'm gonna overvolt the card As you can see here I just overvolted the card apply then I move the fan curve to aggressive that's because our card needs to be cooled so everything is safe and now I'm gonna start just with the GPU clock I'm not gonna to touch the memory clock yet 25 at the time apply and run the benchmark as you can see the GPU clock is now higher than before and that's exactly what we're looking for I know this is not gonna crash so I am gonna stop here for time purposes but if you're overclocking of course you should be more more careful and let this run at least three times the whole benchmark now let's keep going and increase another 25 megahertz 50 we're gonna apply right and and run the benchmark again you can see our GPU clock is still getting higher and higher and that's exactly what we want And again, I know this is gonna work out, so I am not gonna let this run three times, but you really should if you're playing on overclocking blindly. So without knowing that the results are gonna be positive, like I am right now. So I'm gonna close this. And I am gonna start again increasing here. Now I know that the maximum overclock for this car is 125 megahertz. So I'm going to show you at 125 megahertz this is the maximum overclock this card is ever going to get. At least my car. Every card is different of course. Your car might get to 150, 130, I don't really know. 
But here, this is the maximum overclock I got. From here I start getting artifacts and maybe stuttering, it's, it, it gets bad. But at 125 I get, a, I get a nice maximum overclock and that's everything I can do. As you can see we're running around 2101 megahertz and the memory, memory clock is still there. The GPU temperature is a 54 Celsius which is su surprisingly low. Okay, now that we know that this is working I am gonna show you what happens if you go over the maximum overclock. So I'm gonna dial in at 150 megahertz clock. Apply. What I'm gonna do here for one second is I'm gonna cool down the card. Maybe it's gonna be a little louder, sorry. Cool down the card and I am going to run the test again. Here it is. Alright, as of right now everything seems fine, but if we wait a little bit, we are going to notice some very, very, very bad stuttering. That's not good. That's very that's not good at all. And usually around here is where things start getting bad. There it is. As you can see everything is blocked and we can't do anything and the program just stops working. So when that happens, everything you do is hit apply, go back, dial down your overclock and hit apply. If things get very bad, and the meaning that just the whole computer shuts off, you get black screens and you can't do anything, unplug your graphics card and use your motherboard HDMI port. And that's gonna be enough, trust me you're gonna be able to boot into Windows and then just remove EVGA Precision X and you're gonna be fine. You're gonna uninstall it. If you don't, it's not gonna be pretty. Okay, now, when that happens, you usually, not like me, I know it, but you usually don't know where your maximum overclock is going to be. So from here, I usually move from here to 150 and I increase by 5 each time and when 5 it's too much I start increasing by 1 until I find my maximum overclock I mean that's everything overclocking is it's a lot of patience and a lot of time sorry guys <laughs> okay now for the memory clock memory clock will most likely bottleneck your card if you're not careful. So memory clock, you usually get a lot more than the GPU overclock. So this car is, uh, maximum overclock is 500 on the memory. And that's probably most uh, GTX 1070s, but again, you should do the same thing you did for your GPU clock on the memory clock. And that's gonna be good enough. All right, and now you just save the profile and everything is fine. Now, what what should you do if you want your overclock to be used just when you game? So, EVGA Precision X helps you with that, with the manual, manual overclock. Thing. So, this is the blue line, which is stock, and at the height, 
at high frame rates, here you can set your personal overclock. So you can see I'm overclocking 125 megahertz. Just from here, over, which is exactly where I game. You game around here, up here. Everything else, it's not needed. You can apply here, and that works too. I hope you found my guy useful, and thank you for watching this video. Really, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you can subscribe, please do. You're really gonna help me out with that. And see you in the next video.